Okay. My name is Graphics. Now we want to draw another figure. And this is the figure that we are drawing. We want to draw this figure in line problems. Like I said earlier, look at the external total length, which is 70 all round because of this symbol in front of it. it means the length and the height is 70, right? So that's what I will do, which we've done in our previous video. Now, this is what we are having, just like we said earlier. So we have successfully drawn out the four shapes out. Now we want to get, the next thing is to draw the center, the center line of this figure. This line in the center, we want to draw them. So how are we going to get them? There are two ways, either you divide 70 into 2 to get 35, also here and here you meet, or you draw your diagonal. Diagonal, you know what I mean is, you take your, your rule, and um, you draw it this way, faint lines first of all, let's just try that, and you place it here also, you draw your faint line this way too. So where they meet is the center. There's another way because in the center of a plane figure. Now the next thing you do, any line that is passing through the center here will be in this form. A long line, a short one, a long one, a short one, and so on. So that is how you show center line. Then you do that for the top one too. All right, so you place it on your T-square, this way, like that, and you do, like, um, this way, so you start, and you do the long one, short one, long one, short one, long one, short one, long one, can you see that? So we've drawn the center line. Now, we have successfully drawn the center line of this figure here, which is from here, here, and here, here. Now the next thing is how to draw this curve. And this is how we go about it. You take your compass, you place this end here, and you take it to the center, the center here. You can see that? And um, to draw this, this is the first center here. Can you see that? To do it for at every point, you come here also. You take it to the center too, to the center here. At every point. To the another one too. You go to the next point too, the next edge. And you get it. To the center. The other one too. You go to the next point too. The center here, from here to the center. And you get that aspect, you gauge it to be at the point. And then you draw. So when you've done that, now the next thing we have to do here, to look at this very well, is to draw this line touching from this end to this end here. So I'll take my center here, my line here, and I'm going to do this from this point to this point, from here to here, from here to here, on this edge. To this edge, again from this edge to this edge. So we've done that, which is what we have here. You can see that. So the next thing is, if you notice it, there's a line that is moving from this point to this point, to this point, and to this point. But that line is not cutting through this. So the line I will draw will not cut through this. So this is what I mean here. You take your line. And you pass it from here to this point, 
two, stop here, continue. You can see that. We come here also. Stop here. Do here. Come here too. Stop here. Move here. And from here too. Stop here. Move here. That is one. So the next thing we're doing here is um, the other one is passing through each of them. So you can measure 15 because it's telling me that um, the diameter, the distance is 30 round. So each length is 30 and it's um, 30. So I'll measure 15. I'll measure the 15 on my meter rule to this 15 here. So if I place it here and I mark here, that's it. Measure 15 again, place it here and I'll mark here. I'll place it here and I'll mark here. And I'll place it here also and I'll mark here. So take my meter rule, my pencil, and I'll join this passing through each and every point. Each and every point. Each and every point. Each and every point. So, this is what we are going to be having, which is this here. All good. So that is how we draw that. So you do the dimensioning. So thanks for watching. If you really benefited from this video, don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Thank you.